What is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist, and today I'm back to talk to you about Warhammer 40k. Today we're going to be theorizing slash talking about a certain excerpt from a short story that is entitled The Chamber at the End of Memory. And this was part of the Scions of the Emperor anthology, and this short story is between pretty much Rogel Dorn and Malkador the Hero or I think he was still called the Sigilite at that time, but uh, in my heart he will always be known as a hero. But that may change depending on this little excerpt that we talk about today. So I really wanted to talk about this because lately I've been working on my Celestial Sun lore, which is lore that has to do with the Lost Legions. The Second Legion and the Eleventh Legion have been expunged from all records of the Imperium due to the Edict of Obliteration. Any symbols, likeliness of those two legions have been completely erased from history because of something that happened that they did, some unknown um, incident occurred, and that's why the Emperor had to essentially delete them, cancel them from existence. So this excerpt uh, pretty much states that Dorne was fortifying the Imperial Palace and he kind of got a little too deep into a cavern or some type of uh, excavation and this is where he triggered a super powerful uh, psychic ward. Uh, this is the Tomb of the Lost Primarch. Here, Dorn tries to remember what exactly was going on between his lost brothers, and he t turns out that he can't remember anything. Um, so this goes to show you that even the Primarchs that still manage to fight alongside their battle brother Primarchs, that being the second and the eleventh legion, even though they were right there, fought alongside them, like they can't remember key memories of these beings. So Dorne basically comes face to face with Malkador and Malkador is like, dude, you dug too deep, you shouldn't be here, there are some things that you do not need to remember. And Dorne's basically telling him, like, why is this happening? Like, I know of the two lost Primarchs, I fought with them, I stood side by side with them but he can't remember all the details. He basically says that his mind is a haze. He tries to dig deeper into his memory and he can't. This is when the two begin a conversation where Dorne pretty much tries to get Malkador to tell him the truth. He says that, have you ever wondered why nobody speaks of the lost two? Why throughout all of history, they haven't been revealed to humanity or any other legion or empire race for that matter. And Malkador see, says that this is beyond anything you should know. He says that even though his lost brothers were there, that they can't be known. Um, so that kind of goes to show you that something horrible did happen around these two Primarchs. Um, it has to be worse than Chaos, I would assume, because even though Chaos has been plaguing the minds of Lorgar, Horus, and ever since the Heresy, a bunch more Space Marines, like, the memory of these Chaos Space Marines hasn't been expunged from history. Uh, it might be because the Emperor is obviously on the Golden Throne, and uh, Malkador is severely, severely, um, basically screwed up because he was sitting on the golden throne for those few hours um but still though it, like the effects of these two primarchs whatever they did whatever they discovered like is so instrumental in collapsing the imperium i believe that the emperor had no choice but to do this and the thing that kind of uh sparks me as interesting is that these primarchs even those that turn to chaos, they had like their memories wiped, or at least covered, because it doesn't make sense as to why the chaos uh, traitor, the traitorous Primarchs for that matter, 
don't bring up the two lost legions. It's like if the Emperor really wanted to keep anything that happened on the down low and the hush hush, I'm pretty sure that the traitorous Primarchs would want to bring that back up, maybe follow in the footsteps that they did to create chaos, havoc, whatever it is. Because if you were Horus, and you know that the Emperor enacted the Edict of Obliteration twice, like, why wouldn't you try to replicate the cause for the Edict of Obliteration? So that goes to show you that probably Malkador, since he was the strongest Psyker at the time, went into each Primarch's head and put mental blockages uh, into the memories of these two Primarchs. And that's why nobody can really recall who they were or why they were banished. And is this something that you deem is okay? Is this morally right? Does the Emperor and Malkador, are they essentially fighting fire with fire? Because um, if something did happen that could, I don't know, cause humanity to once again spiral into the despair that they once were in, do you think this would be okay to plague the Primarchs with mental blockages to the point where they don't even remember exactly what happened? Now, when you think about this, like, the Primarchs are literally just tools in the eyes of the Emperor. He was going to use the Primarchs and the Space Marines to essentially take over Terra, which he did, kill the Thunder Warriors, which he almost pretty much did, and then he was going to unify all humanity throughout all the stars to make humanity a empire that is literally godlike, as perfect to perfection that humanity can get to, that was the Emperor's goal. And the Primarchs, the Space Marines, they were just a means to an end, a tool to be used to get to that point and then discard it. Because at the end of the day, the Emperor wanted humanity to be ruled by humans, for humans. And you can't have Space Marines protecting humans, that's what the Astra Militarum was going to be there for essentially beat any type of Xeno races with manpower. Billions and billions of manpower. And to further showcase that the Emperor was indeed just using the Primarchs, there is a little excerpt here where essentially Dorne puts his sword up against uh, Malkador and he's like, the Emperor allowed you to essentially go into our minds and put mental blockages there. He's like, he didn't try to stop you? And Malkador says, stop me? He says, no. The loss of the second and the eleventh would be such a wound upon us that it threatened the ideals at the heart of the Great Crusade. It would have ruined all that he had built to drive and reunite humanity. He said that steps had to be taken to secure that the Great Crusade would not fail. So that's another reason to sh that shows you right there that the Emperor didn't care about his Primarchs. He didn't care about Dorne, he didn't care about Gilliman, Horus, anything. Yes, you could say Horus was his favorite, but that's just because Horus gave him results. And um, obviously if something gives you results, you're going to keep using that. And uh, he put all his eggs in a basket, and that basket became a basket head or a basket case, whatever the saying is. And that's when it goes to chaos. So essentially, the Emperor robbed the Primarchs of their memories. And uh, again, like, why? <laughs> like, wouldn't it just be better if the Emperor just kept all his Primarchs in on what's going on? Don't keep the Golden Throne uh, a secret. Don't keep the ruinous forces of chaos a secret to the Primarchs when you know that chaos can corrupt and his Primarchs would be a huge benefit to Chaos, so it's, I'm pretty sure the Emperor should have said, hey, I'm gonna warn you guys, there's Korn, there's Nurgle, there's Slanesh, Zeech, like, these guys are against me and my ways, like, don't fall for it. But no, he decided to keep the Primarchs pretty much unknown to the horrors of the universe, to his plans, to his secrets, and, um, 
I don't know. If, is the Emperor really the good guy here? So yeah, so this just goes to show that the Lost Legions, the 2nd and the 11th Legions, were expunged from, you know, history. However, that's not entirely the case. Where one would think that, you know, the Emperor would want to kill off these uh, warriors, these battle brothers, basically to, to tie up all loose ends. You'd want to kill off everybody from these two legions. However, that's not what happened. Dorne himself, alongside Gilliman, said that don't kill off the Space Marines. We will take them into our own ranks. So that's why during this era, the numbers of the Ultramarines and the numbers of the Imperial Fists increased drastically because so many members of the 2nd and the 11th Legion were inducted into their own. Now yes, obviously they had their minds wiped and they were re-indoctrinated to become Ultramarines through and through and Imperial Fists through and through so that essentially this weapon, this tool, can be repurposed. However, the Primarchs could not, so they were the ultimate sacrifices in this endgame of the Emperor. The final thing that I want to talk about is near the end of this little short story where Malkador literally reveals the truth to Dorne. He doesn't just outright tell him, he does a, uh, I don't know, he does some kind of psyker power and he touches Dorne's head and he sees the truth. He literally sees what happened and Dorne understands that, yo, like, this is some effed up stuff where if the 2nd and the 11th were still here amongst the Primarchs, that the war would already have been lost. Um, now this could be interpreted a few different ways. Um, maybe the war of reclaiming humanity is what he means, or the war against chaos, or the war against the darkness of the universe like there's a lot that he could be talking about because the war could mean so many different things um, so this kind of leads me to believe that maybe the two lost legions were tainted by chaos which I really hope isn't the case because that's just I mean I really hope it's something worse like maybe they found out the truth about the Emperor that maybe he's not as divine or as perfect as he seems maybe the Emperor is trying to lead humanity to a point of uh, perfection where he kills them all off in order to ascend into godhood or something like that um, but at the end of the day it's like whatever they knew whatever they had become it would literally mean the end of humanity so yeah um, I really want to know what you guys think about this in the comments below what do you think Dorne saw that shook him to his core what do you think the 2nd and the 11th legions represented um, for humanity and for the Imperium? Because yes, they did begin just like any other Primarch. They were fighting for humanity. They were fighting in the Great Crusade. They were being led by the Emperor and reuniting humanity with the Imperium. So they were fighting for, quote unquote, the Emperor for a good cause, but what could have happened um, if you kind of want to know my take on it uh, I will put my link to the playlist on my celestial sons where I kind of give you my interpretation of what happened to the 11th Legion who the 11th Legion's Primarch actually is what he represents his origins um, and I will be showcasing what I think happens from the inception of the 11th Legion all the way to current time in 40k. Uh, I believe there's currently five videos out on it. I will be, I'm will be. i currently making the sixth right now so hopefully that would be out this Sunday and um, yeah just keep on subscribed for more lore on my interpretation of the Lost Legion, the 11th Legion, the Celestial Sons. Continuing the conversation in the comments I really want to know what you guys think the Emperor's endgame is. Is he really trying to make humanity the best that they can be? Is he trying to use humanity to become a god? Or what other things do you think is going on? Do you think that the Emperor truly is a great guy? A 
savior to humanity or something more nefarious, something more evil, worse than chaos itself. Because if you listen to what the Cabal is trying to do during the Horus Heresy, they were trying to make chaos win. That way, chaos would essentially destroy humanity to a point where the population would be so low that they would be unable to continue fueling the gods of chaos. There'd be so little humans left that their beliefs, their devotion, their souls wouldn't be enough to fuel chaos to the power that they currently are at now, that chaos would essentially starve itself until the gods would be no more. So essentially through chaos winning, they'd be killing off themselves in the long run. Obviously we saw that the Imperium won during the Horus Heresy, so now they are destined to pretty much rise to power for a short amount of time, but at the end of the day they're going to slowly kill themselves and then that's going to just slowly increase the power of chaos and the cycle will never end. So the Cabal was right, this might mean that the Alpha Legion is uh, secretly the good guys and uh, the Emperor is the bad guy. So again guys, what do you think about this whole theory? What do you think about this short story? And if you guys have your own interpretations of the Lost Legions, the 2nd and the 11th, let me know in the comments down below, or if you want for us to showcase your own fan lore, let us know via Facebook, because we have a playlist for fan lore that we've been doing for quite a while now. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you later. This has been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, <laughs> oh,